Hello, how are you doing? Hope that you are well. Hope that you are grateful for today. You know what? Each and every day you live is a miracle. And each and every day you live is an opportunity for you to do the things that you have dreamt to do, to reach and be with the people that you have dreamt to be with and to impact the people who are around your life. So it's always, always a good thing to start your day or to go through your day with gratitude, not grudgingly, but with gratitude. Well, this is Wisdom Moments on K24 with me, CJ Etemo, and I hope that this has been impacting your life. So you need to tell your friends and your neighbors and your colleagues to tune in right about now because we've got some more moments and more wisdom uh, to bring to you right about now. We're coming to you from the location, Nyolenzuri Spa. That is a long Gong Road uh, Junction Mall and that is on the fourth floor. Come and check out their services, check out what they have for you and hopefully you will be delighted that you came. I talked about true success and did not quite finish on that because a lot of people define success differently but we've got to try and find what somebody calls the true north because nothing can be indefinite everything must have a certain sense of direction everything must have a certain sense of standard and it is important for us to draw us to that place where we can then say well i think i am attaining or achieving good and true success and i did say that true success is wholesome it is not just piecemeal. Well, you can have success in various areas and in various spaces, but for you to have true success, you must work towards having a wholesome success. Your spirit, your mind, your emotions, your body, that means your health as well. And then your finances, your resources, how you relate with people. You've got to continually work around that. And it doesn't mean that if you have not yet attained it in certain areas, then you're a failure. No, it is just that there is a mark and a goal that we're going towards where we want to reach. And so we keep working towards it. So we do not, you know, sit on our laurels and say, I have already succeeded. You probably have succeeded in one area. It may be education. It may be money. It may be in business. It may be in marriage, but there are other things as well. So to bring the whole balance uh, and have an, a whole success ecosystem, you need to understand certain principles. So we're talking about the principles of true success. I talked about working on your relationships. I also mentioned managing your resources and I did talk about setting aside time for reading. I don't want to go back into them because I've got others as well. So the fourth thing that I would bring out to us today as a continuation of what we had yesterday is synchronizing your rhythms synchronizing your rhythms you see and i talked about this when we talked about the managing your resources that we mostly are doing a lot of things it is not the older generation that would stick to one thing where somebody would be a teacher and for 40 years and retire as a teacher and they never tried anything else or oh, they worked for a parastatal and that's all they did faithfully well we have a generation that is bold we have a generation that is diverse in thinking so one person will be running seven things at the same time well just make sure that you can run the seven of them but in doing all the things that you were doing and in meeting all the obligations that you have you've got to learn how to synchronize your rhythms otherwise you will be fatigued you will be ineffective, you will be inefficient. I have had the opportunity to do quite a number of things at the same time. And the question that comes is, how do you do the several things at the same time? It is this that I'm talking about, synchronizing your rhythms. What things are priority to you? What things are urgent? What things are emergencies? You see, that means that you cannot synchronize your rhythms unless you monitor your patterns. If you don't monitor your patterns and you do not monitor what is coming to your table, you will just be waking up every day and running for whatever you think is urgent, running for whatever you think is most needed, going for whatever you think is available and not having any synergy towards the energy that you exert on the things that you do. Some things do not require you to go there in person. 
you just need to make a phone call. Some things need to be delayed because they're not very urgent. They're important, but they're not very urgent. Some things are emergencies, and so they require your immediate attention. You've got to know, what am I supposed to do at this time? With all the things that I've set on the table, you also have to understand and learn. I just thought about something like, what are your energy levels in time management? If you're a morning person, you most probably then want to do the most within that morning and then you will do other things later on. If you're a night person, you probably want to do the things that require most of your energy, you do them in the night. And then the things that don't require much of your energy, you do them later on when you don't have so much energy. You have to understand how you function. You have to understand how you flow and then begin to put things within that flow so that you synchronize your rhythm so all things work together towards you attaining the goal that is called true success. Well, the next thing is that you need to break the routine. You need to break the routine. I was getting tempted to talk more about the synchronizing your rhythms, but I know that I've got limited time as well. Break the routine. Sometimes, and it is said, a change is as good as rest. Break the routine. Try out new things. Go into new spaces. If you are always, you know, using your car or you're using your matatu, uh, going every day to work, sometimes just change it. Take a walk, take a break, do something else. Break the routine. What does that do? It re-energizes you as a person. It re-energizes you. Just going away from what is routine, just going away from what is like the daily work that you do, even just from your house, you know, for those of you who stay at home to raise your children, sometimes just walking out of your house will help you a lot. It gives you a breath of fresh air. Just not eating your food in the house every single night, 365 and blaming COVID for it. You see, you can walk out, go to a restaurant that does not cost too much and just eat from over there so that all of you are around the table. Nobody is serving anybody. You have other people to serve you so you concentrate on having conversations. Break the routine. It is good for you to develop and build routines because success is also built on routines. But once in a while, break the routine. The next thing I've got to talk about, which is very, very, very key for me today and especially in this season is schedule your rest. Schedule your rest. The Americans will say schedule your rest. But schedule your rest. Rest will not come automatically. Most of us only rest when we are tired. Most of us only rest when we are tired. Now that's like eating when you are hungry. And you know that when you're eating when you're hungry, you're doing damage to your body, just like drinking water when you're thirsty. It means that your water levels have gone so low that your body is beginning to crave for it. Resting when you are tired means that your body has really been stretched. And it's not just for you to rest your body, but you need to rest your mind. Some people take leave, take off. They don't go to the office, but then they take up so much more outside the office than they had when they were in the office. By the time they come back from their 14 days leave, they are more tired than they were before they went on leave because they did not have mental rest, they did not have physical rest, or they did not have emotional rest. Rest is a state where you disconnect from things that exert or require your energy. Rest is a state where you disconnect from the things that will require your energy. So sometimes it's not physical, sometimes it is emotional, sometimes it is mental. If you're going to carry so much work at home and be with it there, that's not rest. If you're going on holiday and you're working, working, working throughout that holiday, that's not rest. So it's important for you to schedule rest. Tell yourself, on this particular day, for this amount of hours, I will be off work. My phone may be off. I will be offline. I'm not doing anything related with work. Everybody who needs to reach me, reach so-and-so so that you can get whatever you need to get from me. But schedule your rest. So you've got to synchronize your rhythms, break the routine, and schedule your rest. That's all the time that we've had today, again, on Wisdom Moments on K24 with me, CJ Atemo. Follow me, subscribe to my YouTube channel, CJ Atemo. Follow me on social media, CJ Atemo on every platform. And let us know as well, what do you want us to talk about? What questions do you have? So that we can tackle them and just bring perspective to them.
Till the next time, keep it right here.